Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. It's around 7 a.m., sun's just coming up. 50 degrees overnight. They said it was going to be raining and 65. And those look like uh, blue skies coming with some wispy clouds. I think it's going to be a decent day. Hey, Drew. Good morning. Roll my intro. Today was a very big day for me. I stopped and spoke with Luciano and uh, asked him if there was anything I could do for him. And he gave me money and I ran to the store, the HEB grocery store, to pick up a couple things for him. So uh, that is huge. That is the first time he's ever let me help him in any way. And uh, we had a good talk. And uh, he got what he needed, and I feel like I did a good deed. See you guys. I've been trying to catch the uh, Ospreys again. There's uh, two of them. I assume they're a male and a female. I don't know what they identify as. That's their business. <laughs> it's 2021, Osprey. You do your thing. But there's an Osprey and two... Uh, they black buzzards? I can't really see a face. I think they're black buzzards. There goes the osprey. And there's some deer for us. It's like mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom today. <laughs> Would that make me Marlon Perkins? I forget the young guy that used to help Marlon. And the osprey's brack. There was like a turkey carcass there, uh... We think uh, someone threw out, you know, a turkey dinner and the birds were picking at it. There he goes again. I did want to give a big shout out to my friend Drew. Sent me a very nice gift through my PayPal account. Drew, thank you very much, buddy. With everything you got, guys got going on in Canada, uh, it's very nice that you would just take a moment and... <laughs> think of someone else while you're having all that difficulty up there and that's the way you are buddy yeah i know you're always doing stuff for neighbors and family and worrying about people and you liz and tika are all good people Meh, especially tika but you and liz are okay too <laughs> i'm gonna head over to goose island state park because uh when you start smelling yourself you know you stink and they have really nice shower facilities over there. I have a Texas State Park pass. And uh, I'll go over there and look around and maybe we can catch some deer or some critters or an interesting RV. And uh, I'm going to take a shower. Look at that. They blew the pooch on the weather report, man. They It was supposed to be like 62 yesterday and rain all day. And we actually got... a uh, half a day of really nice weather went from uh, 72 degrees with no wind and within a half a uh, half an hour we were down to 55 degrees with 20 mile an hour blowing winds and I do have to tell you about uh, the rookie mistake that I made yesterday I don't even want to tell you about it because it just it's so stupid that I can't believe I did it and uh, yeah I did it Unfortunately, I have friends here in town who uh, realize I'm a big galoot and an idiot and uh, come and bailed me out. Fishing boat. I spotted these on the side of the road and I have Googled them and there are just way too many similar mushrooms that have kind of this orange pumpkin color. And even with the same shapes. So do any of you guys know exactly what these are? 
I'm not sure at all. I thought I would take a minute and explain to a lot of the new people, and most of you regular people already know this, so I do apologize. I am an idiot. Sorry, I got distracted. The wildlife in this little stretch right here is unbelievable. I uh, have the campsite right to the far left, and raccoons, possums, deer, <laughs> uh, the javelina all came out of there at some point during the evening. Just amazing. You could hear, especially in the springtime, it is thick with birds. Well, yesterday, uh, no wind, pretty nice day, actually warm and muggy. And uh, when I got up in the morning, I had leftovers uh, from cooking Thanksgiving dinner. So in the morning, I plugged my little oven in the back. I have a 12-volt uh, adapter back there. And I put in two containers that I had left over of uh, Thanksgiving food that I cooked. And I figured I would have that for lunch and dinner. Well, uh, a friend brought me a lunch of uh, like a turkey plate with, with everything, you know, mashed potatoes, all that stuff. And I forgot about the oven in the back. So I ate that for lunch and I was parked most of the day. Around two o'clock, it starts pouring rain. I mean, really heavy rain, uh, blowing winds. I go to start my truck, battery's completely dead. I had left that little oven plugged in for about six hours and forgot all about it, which drained my battery. So I, I checked the weather and I saw it about seven. Um, the rain was supposed to let up. And I had uh, messaged, uh, Terry was nearby, but it, it, it was pouring rain and um, none of us had jumper cables. I did have my little battery pack uh, to use and that was charged. Uh, I messaged uh, my buddy Mark, who bails me out all the time. And he left his family get-together, shirt and tie, wind and rain, the kind of wind that turns your umbrella inside out, and came over and jumped me, like, as soon as he found out about it. And, uh, yeah, thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. Uh, it's awesome having friends like that. And uh, once I started it, I let it run, recharged the battery, started right up this morning. I slept overnight. And I, I, I don't even charge my um, DeWalt batteries. I don't charge anything when the truck isn't running. And I completely forgot about the oven. So, I mean, I've, I've been doing this almost three years. And I, I stranded myself, and I'm glad I wasn't somewhere where there was, you know, no help available. I uh, probably could have tried to jump myself with the battery pack uh, once the rain started. I would actually have to wait till the next day because uh, I, don't, I don't see well at night. Or I could have called AAA, but, like, Mark didn't even wait for the rain to stop. He was right there. So the point is, Mark's a good guy. I'm an idiot, and uh, it's a beautiful day to live in South Texas. Thank you, Mark. Goose Island State Park, guys. Water and electric hookups right on Aransas Bay. If you like fishing or hearing loud airboats <laughs> or the relaxing sound of shotguns going off in the distance <laughs> during duck season this is the spot for you hey did you hear about the giant who threw up yeah I'm surprised you didn't it was all over town <laughs> hey guys Thanks for putting up with me this morning. I appreciate every one of you. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Get some rest this weekend. 
I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.